Well, it's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week, and this week we have finally made it to Utopia. But we don't need seven days here, we just need one meal at the Lost Maples Cafe. An hour and a half west of San Antonio, smack dab in the middle of some of the most serene landscapes of Texas is Utopia. And for locals, that's exactly what it is. I mean, it's a great place to live, great place to raise kids. Just great people and everyone takes care of each other. You have to want to come to Utopia because it's not on the way to anywhere except Garner State Park or Lost Maples Park. Tacey Redden is the owner of the Lost Maples Cafe and she has some deep roots here. My dad was actually from Oasis Canyon, which is a couple of canyons over, but my mother was raised right here. I love how you say a couple canyons over, like, <laughs> coming That's through here. That's what it is. The Lost Maples Cafe is a restaurant with a really long history. Built in 1907 as a Mason's Lodge, it was turned into a cafe in the 40s. Tacy took it over in the 80s. So what made you decide to buy a cafe in 1986? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> My husband did. <laughs> we had the grocery store and we also had the little meat plant and he decided the cafe would go really good with our grocery store and meat plant. His aunt was going to come and run the cafe for us and teach me how to run the cafe. So I, if you know cafe business, you know what happened the first day? She didn't show up. <laughs> Tacey had to learn on the fly and it didn't take long to figure out that people here liked comfort food, especially burgers and pies. The pies are outstanding. The pie's pretty famous, yes. Our buttermilk pie is something that everybody should come try once. But there's another dish here that's been on my radar thanks to its really good reputation around the state, the lamb sliders. Lamb, yeah, no, not doing the lamb. A lot of people like it though. Turns out the locals aren't really into this dish because, you know, comfort food. How did the uh, lamb sliders go over with the locals? <laughs> the locals don't like them, but everybody else does. <laughs> lamb sliders? I'm a cow man. I, well, it's beef. <laughs> Have you ever had the lamb sliders? I actually haven't. Uh, it's one of those I keep thinking I need to, and I just haven't got around to it yet. That's not for me, but a lot of people order it. Everybody loves them. Yeah. I haven't tried them personally. We hear all the locals haven't tried them. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Sue cooked us up an order of the little lamb sliders. So what is it about lamb? Why won't you just try it? I don't know, I've just never tried it. Never wanted a gyro? Never no. wanted a lamb chop? No. <laughs> you guys are really doing a good job of selling these lamb sliders. <laughs> well, it's just not my preference. <laughs> the dish starts off with lamb raised right here in Utopia by Tacy herself. So these lambs come from y'all's farm? They do. We raise them. Oh, very neat. So, yeah. so it's farm to fork, as they say. It's our own, <laughs> own product. We grab our slider patties. So you guys right pre-make these there. with the uh, feta and the seasonings and yes. the Worcestershire? Yes. Okay. It's feta cheese, Uncle Chris's, and Worcestershire. I don't know how to pronounce that the correct way. Wor so. Worcestershire. Wor Worcestershire. Westchester. 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 <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. See, I just do it fast one over here. <laughs> yeah. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, yeah. Get the Worcestershire sauce. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't think anybody does. <laughs> Once the lamb is grilled up, it's put on a sourdough bun with yogurt sauce. Well, this is put by far one of the simplest dishes we've ever done. Like meat, bread, sauce. Yeah. Nothing to it. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. That's funny. Okay. Well, we'll be in the uh, living dining room. Okay. So here we have the delicate lamb sliders ready for the taken. Just a simple dish, lamb, yogurt sauce, and bread. Well, it definitely has a nice, clean finish. The wonderful taste of lamb mixed in with that feta and that seasoning and that yogurt sauce. Just a nice flavor. I never expected to find Mediterranean style food here in uh, <laughs> Utopia. I think we just call it South Texas lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Shane had a little lamb, a little lamb. I don't know if it's fleece was white, but it's meat was tasty. I've always liked the flavor of lamb. Why don't people like the flavor of lamb? They just think it's too gamey? Yeah. I think it's amazing. Yeah, I didn't know if it was a cute thing if people just didn't like eat cute animals. I don't know. It's a unique experience, it really is. And the food is good. I think the one thing that would be safe in Utopia is a little lamb, but apparently not. Because it's good homemade food. And of course, we have to finish things off with a piece of pie. Go with buttermilk. 
<laughs> okay, well, that seals the deal. That is awesome. Well, if you're looking for a unique dish in a unique part of our state, coming to the Lost Maples Cafe in Utopia for the lamb sliders is definitely well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. Does it really take seven days to be in Utopia? No, not really. You can get it all done in a, in a day. You push it pretty hard. Ha, ha, ha.